Hey guys, CJ the Sage here, uh, doing something I have never done before, um, I am doing a tutorial on how to make a montage. I'm doing a new series, and uh, I know there are many series out there that editors have done on how to make a montage or whatever, but I feel like I'm going to be able to, uh, possibly make better videos. The best videos I've seen, I'll give a link in the description to the channel, because this guy is not only um, my idol for editing, but he also gives really good tutorials. Um, unfortunately, he only has three out, but they are very uh, useful and helpful. And uh, yeah, so today my tutorial is going to be simple color correcting. And uh, yeah, so I have this um, I, I'm going to be doing the color correction on this edit here. I've already done all the syncing and a few extra things. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is what I'm going to do the color correction on. So, basically, color correction, if you guys don't know what it is, I'm going to basically go from, uh, I'm going to be doing things, like, very simple here. So, color correction is basically changing and bringing out the colors can be either or and I don't know um and basically you know just bringing out colors making colors pop out um stuff like that and when you see uh many I mean almost all montages have some form of color correction um the ones that don't you know kind of look a little bit dumb to be honest so you really want to learn this for montages. So what I like to do for color correction, and this is probably going to be the uh, most useful form of color correction that um, I can think of, unless you just want to straight up black and white, there's all these different tools. And this is an After Effects tutorial, by the way, so if you're a Sony Vegas user, um, comment on the you know little bar below, comment bar below thingy, and ask for a tutorial because I know how to do that too, but for the thing that I like to use, which is curves, I find After Effects, for some reason, I don't know why, I feel like it's much more useful and specific, um, even though it uses the same scale and everything. So the scale that it uses is RGB and then alpha. RGB stands for red, green, and blue, which is obvious, so when it has the setting, the channel on RGB, it's covering all colors. So basically what I like to do on the RGB channel is I like to bring up the highs and bring down the lows to give a really um, obvious contrast. And see, here's what happens when you do the opposite. It gets uh, very washed out looking. Um, just not a nice look. And yeah, I don't like that at all. So you want to bring down the lows and bring up the highs, just for a little contrast, small amount I'm going to do. Um, sometimes I'll do more, probably on, no, I'll do another uh, tutorial on that, on using adjustment layers to get better color correction and uh, more specific. But, so first I'm going to do red, and what I'm doing with red, and you'll see this in a lot of my edits, because for graphics, I like to use um, you'll see on my background for YouTube, you'll see on, I did my first speed edit, or er, speed art yesterday, and you'll see that I use, uh, blue and green. I use lots of blue and green, but as for right now, what I'm going to be doing is, and this is what I do on lots of edits, is I bring up the downs on red. Wow, that was a lot of, uh, plurals, but, um, don't bring it too high up, I just did because as you see it will uh, sort of mask everything like right now you can see in the middle right here the mids are being brought up and I want to lock that mid right there actually so and I'll bring mid a little bit down to there so lock that bring that up bring that down basically bring everything a little bit down except for the low colors 
and then what I'm going to be doing is going to green. I usually leave straight on edits. I usually don't do much with green. I'll try to show you some uh, green today, but as for now, you just sort of move this around a little bit. Um, hmm, I may still want to bring down the red a little bit, actually. And just adjust it to what you uh, want and what you feel like. And you got to go through the uh, timeline, too, because... It looks different. Uh, I think you're going to see later when the screen gets bloody. Right. Just put it right here. The screen's all bloody, and uh, if I brought the reds too much up on that, like, it just starts to cover the screen, and right there it gets pretty bad. So, uh, be careful about that. You want to look through the timeline, and uh, take into account that I'm only color correcting this right now, and uh, what you're seeing across the screen right here is a different tool. I might do a tutorial on uh, paths later and masks and such, but yeah, um, I'll try to show you some green. Green, I, I just don't like messing around with the green. It gives it a really, uh, I don't know, stupid look. I, I just don't like the look of green in general. So yeah, it, it makes everything look uh, kind of fluorescent. Don't like that. So change that, that back to straight and uh, so yeah, that's that's curves right there. Um, you know, bring it through there, and um, I think that's pretty much it. On uh, this is what I like to do, by the way. Many other editors, um, Agony will um, he uses some curves, but you know, Agony is known for his color correction. I overall don't think that Agony is too great of an editor, but you know, my opinion. Um, I definitely respect people like iDuel and Fusion a lot more. Hmm. And yeah, there's just different things like this, tint. I know that Agony uh, will also, or would often uh, take out colors and give a sort of a grayscale feel, small grayscale. Um, maybe bring out some yellows. And uh, yeah. And take into account, uh, this is on RGB. Many videos will uh, not record in RGB, in red, green, blue. RGB, red, green, blue. So, uh, you know, sometimes, I was, uh, this happened on Photoshop while I was doing my speed edit, for some reason it randomly changed from RGB to, uh, you know, the mid-ranges, the uh, cyan, magenta, and yellow, so don't know why I did that, but it did. And those are, you know, uh, subtractive colors. Red, green, blue is primary additive. Uh, cyan, magenta, to yellow, primary, subtractive colors. Yeah, I just, uh, IB physics, so. <laughs> Took that and actually just learned that, like, three months ago. Or I learned what the, uh, actual meaning was and what it did to your vision. So, that's curves, people, and, uh, simple color correction. If you want to use the, uh, the already given tools, the non-specific ones that just do everything for you, I, you know, I guess you can do that, but cur curves are really simple, so I don't see the point in doing that. So now I'm going to let you watch this little edit and tell me what you think of the edit, um, give feedback, tell me what the next episode should be on. I was thinking timer mapping, but I don't know, your guys' choice, or you guys are the ones learning, holy speech impediment, but at some point. So, uh, remember to, guys, please like and subscribe. It's not that hard. If you don't have a YouTube channel and you're watching this, then it's, it's not hard to make a YouTube channel. Really, all you need is an email, and then you have to go and confirm it on your email that you're making the account, and that's all. That's all it takes to make a YouTube channel. You subscribe, you like then you can actually give feedback to me. You can comment, and you can send me messages, and tell me what you want to see, because if you don't make a YouTube channel, and you just keep on watching my videos, and for some reason you don't like it, or don't like a video, or you want me to do something else, then how is your opinion going to be heard? So, that's why you should make a YouTube channel, and that's why you should subscribe, comment, like, dislike if for some reason you dislike this, even though I did nothing offensive or profane, and I, uh, 
feel as though I taught you what I said I was going to. So, you know, that's that. And uh, thanks for watching. Papa <laughs>